Oh. Hey, owls. I'm sitting here with one of my <clears throat> brand new apple trees here. It's only about a couple of years old. Um, I just planted it last year. So right now, um, it's not in a spot where it produces a whole lot of apples because it's still quite young, but we're hoping to get some apples this year from it. The nice thing about apple trees in the springtime is that they bloom with these like really pretty flowers. And the thing to note about apple trees, and some of you probably already noticed that when uh, an apple tree blooms, every flower will eventually become an apple. Of course, that flower has to be pollinated by uh, some, like perhaps an insect or a bird first, meaning it has to carry pollen from another apple tree and it has to hit that flower in order for it to become an apple. If nothing pollinates it, then it won't become an apple. So that's why, man, bees are so important as well. But we've been talking about the importance of trees lately and everything that trees do for us. In the past, I've talked about how trees, you know, keep me calm. I love sitting in the woods. Um, trees provide us with oxygen. They take in carbon dioxide that we breathe out and they take in that carbon dioxide and produce oxygen. And that's what we breathe. So that's another way that we depend on trees. Now, <clears throat> the way we've been, what we've been talking about this week um, about how we depend on trees is the food that they provide, okay? So we depend a lot on trees for the food that they provide, specifically these right behind me, apple trees. We, be we depend on trees for apples. We also depend on trees for nuts, for other types of vegetables, for avocados, for, man, there's so many things that come from trees, peaches, pears, all these things. Um, coconuts even. Um, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to reread, I know Ms. Menso read pages 12 and 13 of Be a Friend to Trees on Monday. I'm going to reread that and then we're going to write a focus statement today. We're going to draw a picture and write a focus statement, which is a sentence that tells something specific about trees, okay? So I'm going to read this first and then I'm going to talk about what you guys are going to do, all right? So Be a Friend to Trees. We'll go right to page 12 here. <clears throat> trees are green plants. And so they make their own food. Green plants are the only living things that can do this. Other living things depend on green plants for food. Some eat parts of plants. Some eat the plant eaters. Some eat both. You eat the parts of trees known as fruits and nuts. Apples, oranges, pears, cherries, Peaches, walnuts, almonds, pecans, hazelnuts, and lots of others. Chocolate also comes from trees. It is made from the seeds of cacao trees. If you can hear, that's my daughter Roz over here on the side, ooing and eyeing to the book that we're reading. So down below here we have Valencia oranges, we have Rome apples. Then we have Queen Anne cherries. So we get cherries, oranges, hazelnuts, almonds, walnuts, peaches, pears, cherries. Even chocolate comes from trees. Now I know a lot of you probably like chocolate. I love chocolate in particular. We actually take the seeds from the fruit of cacao trees, grind it up into cacao or into cocoa, and then we make chocolate that generally a lot of you eat throughout the year. So here's what I want you to do today. I want you to draw a picture. You can draw it just like this. You can draw a tree and something that comes from a tree. So I'm going to label that. This will help us. I'm going to label what comes from a tree. It's called an apple. All right. So remember how it's important to label things in our pictures. That tells our, our readers and our viewers what is actually being drawn here. So I've labeled that an apple comes from a tree. And I've written, written this sentence right here. Trees give us apples. Right? That's what I want you to do today, but I want you to do two of those. So you're going to do two pictures like this, one for two different things that come from trees. All right, So that could be cocoa, that could be hazelnuts, it could be almonds, it could be oranges, pears, whatever you know that comes from trees that we eat, All right, because we depend on trees for food. So let me know if you have any questions with that. Again, I want to see a complete sentence. So at the beginning of the sentence, we have a capital letter 
we also have a period at the end of our sentences. All right? Let me see what you got today, Owls. Have a good day.